सो हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन इन द टी सी एस एन क्यू टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव कोडिंग राउंड प्ले लिस्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अवर थर्ड क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट डज अ क्वेश्चन सेज सो क्वेश्चन सेज दैट एयरपोर्ट सिक्योरिटी ऑफिशियली हैव कॉन्फिसिकेटेड सेवरल आइटम्स ऑफ द पैसेंजर एट द सिक्योरिटी चेक पॉइंट वॉट इट मीन एट एयरपोर्ट सर्टन पैसेंजर हैज केम एंड वी हैव टेकन देयर लगेज एंड वी हैव पास फॉर दिस सिक्योरिटी चेकिंग All the items have dumped into the huge box. See, there is huge box, and everyone's bags has been kept in this, uh, you know, box, right? And each item processes a certain amount of risk. That's zero, one, or two, right? So, so say for example, these are the three items. So the risk is zero. So we can simply take it. The risk is one, which means it is normal, and risk is two, which means it is highly risky. Here the risk. severity of items is represented in the array of n numbers right in this way they will give us an array and inside the array they will simply tell us what is the risk of that particular item the task is to here to sort all the item based on the risk in the array so what they have told us whatever the risk they have given in the array we simply need to sort it now observe one more thing i have already told you in the previous videos that tcs always gives you the question in terms of story now if i try to explain the meaning of the question you will feel like this is a so easy question but only a thing is they are trying to make us confused because they have given us in the form of story and the most people read this problem and they are unable to catch the meaning of that problem so therefore for them it feels like it is so much difficult question no these are not a difficult question in one line in one line if i try to explain the meaning of this question it is nothing but there will they will give us an array and we simply need to sort this what we need to do is we simply need to sort this array and one of the best feature of this array is our array will contain 0 1 or 2 there will be only three distinct elements will be present in my array and we simply need to sort it so when i sort it what will be my answer it would be 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 so this is the final answer we need to return we simply sorted the given array right so now let's try to identify how we can solve this problem i have taken one example so let's first understand the solution number 1 so let's check what will be the solution number 1 so if i tell you that hey you are given an array and we simply need to sort it so what you can do is you can simply use any sorting algorithm right we have bubble sort we have insertion sort we have selection sort we have which merge sort and quick sort any algorithm you can use to sort this array right and if you are c++ we always have the inbuilt library sort and we simply pass the name of an array or you are writing the code in java we have collections dot sort and pa and pass the name of an array so in this way what we can do is we can simply sort the array right so if i do so my array will look like as 0 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 so this will be our final array once we sort and simply we need to return it now if i try to sort this array using any of the algorithm what will be the total time complexity what will be the total time complexity it would end up taking big of n into log n so this will be our final time complexity if you try to sort this array right now the question comes can we do it something better than this yes so let's try to do something better than this but before this let's have some kind of observation so what the question says that our array will always contains only three types of elements that is 0 1 or 2 there will be only three types of elements present in my array apart from this there will be no any other element so always remember that always remember whenever your array has only three distinct elements it can be anything now they have given us 0 1 2 or we can have 9 10 11 or let's suppose 10 20 30 any three distinct elements if your array has and you want to sort it and they have asked us to sort it there is only one algorithm that should come in your mind that is nothing but dutch national flag so this is an one algorithm which we can use to sort the array which contains only three distinct elements okay you are getting confused don't worry let's have a dry run and my guarantee that this algorithm will fit in your mind so we need a three pointers what do we need we need a three pointers so let's assign this to a three pointers so this will be our start this is will be our mid and this will be our end right so these are the three pointers which i have maintained now observe carefully what we need to do is we need to sort the array so observe carefully that what is happening once i sort this array once i sort this array i can easily see that at the start 
at the start what i'm having i'm having all the zeros right at the start i'm having all the zeros and at the mid at the mid what i'm having at the mid i'm having all the ones and at the last at as at the end i'm having all the twos right i'm having all the twos the same thing i have to perform using the these three pointers what i told you whenever i'm standing at start i have zero in it right and whenever i have end i want to if i'm having the mid what i want i want one right so these are the things we need to take care but what we will do is we will compare every element with the mid we will compare every element with the mid now i'm standing at zero i will check what it is what it is two now where the two should present where two should present the two should present at last right so what i will do is i will simply swap this with the last so simply two will go here and the zero will come here okay now which one should i move which one should i move should i move end or should i move mid always remember always move the end always move the end the reason why i am not moving the reason why i am not moving the mid because let's suppose let's take an example let's suppose instead of 0 i am having a 1 over here and let's suppose here it was 2 now what will happen see the 2 came so the 2 will go here 2 will go here and the 1 will come here right so 1 will come over here now what i want i want one should be present at the mid so even if i try to move this mid so my mid will go front and the end will also come at the front so i'm missing the position of one i'm missing the position of one because the one should come somewhere in between right somewhere in between not at the start that is the reason why let me write it clearly uh, here it was zero and here it came as two so what i will do is i will write here if a of mid is having equal equal to two simply we need to swap it with end right simply swap mid and end and always take end minus minus we don't want mid to be moved because at the mid it can be zero and it can be one so if it comes zero i need to place it at start if it come one i have to keep it there only so what i will do is i will not move my mid so mid will remain as it is i will simply move my end one position ahead so now my end is again pointing to two now observe carefully what it is my mid contain zero and what i told you what i told you where should be zero zero should be present at start zero should be present at start so simply swap with zero simply swap it zero so if my a of mid is equal equal to zero what i need to do is swap it with swap it with mid and start because at start we should have zero now observe carefully what is happening so both are pointing to the same location so it will get swapped now i will move both the pointers right so start will come here and mid will come here why why the start will come forward why the start will come forward because at here start i wanted zero i got the zero now let's move forward now let's move forward so whenever this happens i'll simply do start plus plus and mid plus plus okay now again my mid contain zero so where to whom we should swap of course i wrote here simply swap with start so again both are pointing to the same location so it will no need to swap both take both the pointers ahead this is my mid this is my start now what is mid what is mid mid is equal to 1 do i need to do anything should i do i need to do anything no because at the mid what i want i want 1 and exactly at the mid i am having 1 exactly at mid i am having 1 so i will not do anything i will simply take the mid one position ahead simply i will take one position ahead so i will write if my a of mid is equal equal to 1 i don't need to do anything simply do mid plus plus because it is clearly observable at mid anyhow i wanted 1 and mid is having the 1 so simply take mid to one position ahead now observe carefully my mid is having 2 my mid is having 2 to so with whom should i swap with whom should i swap i will simply need to swap it with end so where the end is pointing so end is pointing over here end is pointing over here so what will happen so here Two will come here, and this two will remain as it is because end was already pointing to the two. Now, to whom I need to move forward? End move forward. See, observe carefully. Observe carefully. If I moved my mid, so what will happen? This two will remain as it is. But I wanted this two at the end. That is the reason why whenever my mid is pointing to two, I am only shifting my end and not with the mid. Now observe carefully that my mid contains zero. So what I will do is simply swap with. Sorry, my mid contains two. So simply swap it with. end simply swap it with the end because at the end i want all the twos at the end i want all the twos so what i will do is so here it will come 
as 2 and here it will come as 0 so simply take the end to the next position and again check what it is what it is 0 to with whom should we swap of course we start so the here it will be 1 here it will be 0 so simply I will take start at the next and I will simply move my mid at next position now mid is pointing to 1 do I need to do anything no because we already discussed that the at the middle of my array I want one and I got the one okay go ahead go ahead now my mid is pointing now how my mid is pointing to the one now my mid, mid is pointing to the one and it is pointing to one and anyhow I want one present should be at the middle so simply I will do mid plus plus now observe carefully that now my mid has crossed to the end now mid has crossed to the end then can I say that I have completely traversed my array because at the end I was I wanted all the twos I wanted all the twos and now my mid is pointing to somewhere in between the two somewhere in between the two which means I have completely scanned my array and if you observe carefully that my array is anyhow got sorted right so these are the basic three conditions that we should write in order to sort this array this is what we call as a Dutch national flag so i hope so this was a really easy question so now let's move on to the ide and check the code in c plus plus and java so this is a java code so basically what i did is i simply wrote here the function to swapping the two elements right uh, i took the three pointer start which is pointing to zero mid is also pointing to zero and end is pointing at the last of my array that is n minus one so i kept on going till my mid is less than or equal to end then what I did if my mid is equal to 0 what I told you with whom we should swap we should stop with this start and move both the pointers ahead and if my mid is pointing to 1 I don't want to do anything why because the middle portion of my array should contains 1 so simply move my mid plus plus and if my mid is not 0 not 1 then what it will be of course 2 because my array contains only 3 elements 0 1 and 2 then simply swap it with the end because end should contains a 2 and move the end pointer not the mid pointer right and finally I simply printed the array right so this was a code in java now let's move on to the c++ and check the c++ code so this is the c++ code it is same as of java no need to make lots of changes the certain changes will do the work for us so again I wrote the function to swap the code swap the two elements in my array three pointer start mid end and I don't need to explain this because both the in Java and C++ it works as same and finally I simply printed the array do make sure that the the way I have written the code you have to practice writing the code in the same manner we should able to write the clean code so that it is understandable for everyone so just in case if you understood this problem do like the video subscribe the channel